Hi future scientists, I am Adam. In this video, we will analyze 10 different scenarios and create their DT graphs and corresponding VT graphs. Scenario 1. Ion is at rest eating her lunch. She has zero velocity since she is at rest. So the DT graph is a horizontal line above the time axis. The VT graph would be a horizontal line on the time axis indicating her velocity is zero. Scenario 2. Isaac is walking from his home to the city swimming pool at a constant velocity. The DT graph is a straight line with a positive slope since he is moving in the positive direction. The VT graph would be a horizontal line at the appropriate velocity value in the positive quadrant above the time axis. Scenario 3. Ion is walking from school to her home at a constant velocity. The DT graph is a straight line with a negative slope since she's walking in the negative direction. The VT graph would be a horizontal line at the appropriate velocity value in the negative quadrant below the time axis. So here are our first set of three DT graphs and their matching VT graphs. Scenario 4. Isaac is walking from his home to the ice cream shop at a constant velocity. The DT graph is a straight line with a negative slope since he is walking in the negative direction. The VT graph would be a horizontal line at the appropriate velocity value in the negative quadrant below the time axis. Scenario 5. Ion is walking from her orchestra rehearsal to her home at a constant velocity. The DT graph is a straight line with a positive slope since she is walking in the positive direction. The VT graph would be a horizontal line at the appropriate velocity value in the positive quadrant above the time axis. Scenario 6. Mole walks from the train station to her home at a small constant velocity. Suddenly she realizes she dropped her eyeglasses near the train station. She abruptly turns around and runs to the train station at a constant velocity. The DT graph is a straight line with a shallow negative slope because she walks in the negative direction for the first segment of her journey. For the second segment of her journey, the DT graph is a straight line with a large positive slope because she runs in the positive direction. For the first part of Mole's journey, the VT graph would be a horizontal line at a small velocity value in the negative quadrant below the time axis. For the second part of Mole's journey, the VT graph would be a horizontal line at a large velocity value in the positive quadrant above the time axis. So here are our second set of three VT graphs that match the motion of the three DT graphs. Scenario 7. Isaac is skateboarding from the park to the pits area. He has a decreasing velocity in the positive direction. The DT graph is a curve that gets flatter in the positive direction. The VT graph would be a line with a negative slope in the positive quadrant above the time axis. Scenario 8. Ion is surfing in the ocean when, oh no, she spots a shark. Suddenly, she starts speeding up to get away from the shark. She has an increasing velocity in the positive direction. The DT graph is a curve that gets steeper in the positive direction. The VT graph would be a line with a positive slope in the positive quadrant above the time axis. Scenario 9. Isaac is scootering from the store back to his home. He has a decreasing velocity in the negative direction. The DT graph is a curve that gets flatter in the negative direction. The VT graph would be a line with a positive slope in the negative quadrant below the time axis. So here are our third set of three VT graphs that match the motion of the three DT graphs. Scenario 10. Mole and my pet dog electrons paddle boarding adventure. Mole and my pet dog Electron are on a paddle boarding adventure as shown in this position versus time graph. 
Here is the DT graph with the vertical dashed lines to mark the eight segments of their journey. Segment 1. Mole and Electron start their journey at a paddle boat shop some distance away from Mole's home where they wait to get their paddle boat repaired. So they have zero velocity. Here are the axes for the VT graph with the dashed vertical lines matching the DT graph. The zero velocity is shown as a horizontal line on the time axis. Segment 2. Mole and Electron travel forward from the paddle boat shop to Island A. They travel in the positive direction at a constant velocity. This is shown as a horizontal line in the VT graph above the time axis. Segment 3. Mole and Electron relax on Island A for some time. They have zero velocity. Their zero velocity is shown as a horizontal line on the time axis. Segment 4. Mole and Electron speed up in the reverse direction to a waterside cafe for lunch. They paddle board in the negative direction to the cafe at an increasing velocity. This is shown as a straight line with a negative slope in the VT graph below the time axis. Segment 5. They eat lunch for some time. They have zero velocity. Their zero velocity is shown as a horizontal line on the time axis of the VT graph. Segment 6. Mole and Electron continue their journey in the same reverse direction toward Island B, slowing down as they travel. They paddle board in the negative direction to Island B at a decreasing velocity. This is shown as a straight line with a positive slope in the VT graph below the time axis. Segment 7. Mole and Electron rest at Island B for some time. They have zero velocity. Their zero velocity is shown as a horizontal line on the time axis of the VT graph. Segment 8. Finally, Mole and Electron paddle boat to Mole's home at a constant velocity. They paddle boat in the positive direction at a constant velocity. So it is shown as a horizontal line in the VT graph above the time axis. Here is the completed VT graph. There you have it. 10 solved, visually represented DT and VT graphs. Please subscribe, like, share and comment for more science fun. Happy learning. Thank you.